Today I'll talk about probabilities and how to compute them. And for that, I'll take our production money to the Lisbon Casino. And this is math. Hi, welcome! If you play in a casino, some days you may win and other days you may lose. Everything depends on luck, that is to say, chance. Imagine a day when bad luck storms the casino and everyone who's playing in one of these machines wins the first prize. If you're thinking this is impossible, it's not. Actually, it's an entirely possible situation. If everyone who had played on this machine during that day incidentally won the first prize, the casino safe would then be too small for so much air. This doesn't usually happen, of course. On the other hand, it would be very strange and equally damaging to the casino if one day nobody wins. Customers would then probably take their business elsewhere. Although the probability of winning money in a single move is relatively small, it's quite likely that if you play often, you'll eventually win. And only chance knows if today is your day. Or mine. And this is the magic of gambling. I'll play once more. Need more chips. Anyone? Your life is full of situations that you can't predict nor control. For example, when rolling dice, it's impossible to predict how many pips will come out of that play. When we can't predict the outcome of a certain event, we call it a random phenomenon. But all is not lost. Mathematics also help us dealing with this type of phenomenon. When rolling the die, it's quite normal for any number to be rolled. One may consider that the probability of rolling one pip is of one-sixth. Scenario radically changes if we are to roll both dice at the same time. When rolling two dice, the result of each die is unrelated to the other one. In this case, we say that dice have no memory or that they are independent events. Thus, the probability of rolling one pip in both is the product of the probability of rolling one pip in each one. Check out this table. In the first box, this pip represents the result of the first die, and this one, the result of the second die. Now, if you count all boxes on this table, you'll see that there are 36 possible outcomes. Hence, the probability of rolling 1 on both dice is 1 in 36. When rolling 10 dice, the probability of scoring 1 in all of them decreases dramatically. We calculate this probability by multiplying 1 sixth by itself 10 times. That is roughly 0.0000001. Therefore, on average, one should expect to score one in all ten dice, one in 100 million times. Although rolling one in all ten dice is possible but very unlikely, the probability of scoring one pip in at least one die is high enough. Being the opposite of not rolling any one, something that happens with a probability of about 0.2, the probability of scoring one in at least one of ten dice is around 0.8. That is, on average, in 8 out of 10 rows of 10 dice, one of 10 dice will show a 1 pip facet. In fact, if you repeat any experiment many times, the probability to succeed, at least once, is high, even considering events that happen with a very small degree of probability. And this is the casino magic. that it's also very unlikely that everyone in this casino would win on the same day. Therefore, the casino owner can sleep peacefully. Seven red, set incarnate. 
Moreover, although it's unlikely for someone to win the first prize at a slot machine, since so many people are playing at the same time, the probability of at least one person to win is high, and that person can be you. The fact in fact, these ideas are so intuitive that you usually don't notice that they are constantly in action. Check this out. Three, two, one. It's for that same reason that not everybody goes to the supermarket on the very same day to buy butter. And that's why stocks aren't always running out. On the other hand, it would be very strange that in a supermarket there wouldn't be at least one customer per day who's buying butter. It's also for that same reason that insurance companies don't go bankrupt. Although every day someone has an accident that the insurer will have to pay for, it's very unlikely that everyone would be involved in an accident on the same day. Another practical example is the probability of, in a given day, everyone dressed in white although it's very likely to find at least one person wearing that color. However, there are circumstances which may increase the likelihood of an event. For example, if you're in a judo dojo, the probability of finding people dressed in white is very, very high. As were the probability of our professor getting sword. And this ah, is math. 